as you know, Herschel Walker running in uh, Georgia against Warnock for the Senate, doing far better than I think a normal person would instinctively imagine, because Herschel Walker and I don't want to assess what kind of person he is. I don't know what kind of person he is. Um, and I imagine that with his football has sustained some injuries that may exacerbate, uh, exacerbate some things. But the guy does not have grasp on any issues, not just related to being a Senate, a senator. I think like a lot of issues, broadly yeah, speaking, being a state senator and, um, you would imagine that there would not be much support for someone like this. However, he's been uh, promoted by Donald Trump and Republicans get on board and this country is polarized. One of the positions that Herschel Walker has had to, um, and maybe he's always had this position, at least publicly, uh, is to be against a woman's right to choose whether or not she's going to carry a fetus to term. In other words, are you for forced pregnancies or not? He is for forced pregnancies and really adamantly so. I think no exceptions. And he considers abortion to be straight on murder. In fact, here is a an assemblage of his uh, quotes to that effect. I'm a warrior for God. And God told me thou shalt not kill. Remember, my guy, I'm running against that woman to kill her baby. That's what he said. He's also said if a baby survived an abortion, he uh, voted to uh, deny that baby uh, medical care. And how extreme can that be? And he's a pastor. And I said, thou shalt not kill. You know, he's uh, seen to be relish on a woman killing her baby. And he's a pastor. So that's the reason. Getting most abortions after 15 weeks. What's your stance on that? You know, I believe in life. I'm a Christian. I believe in life. And I and it is strange that my opponent and no one is talking about that. He seemed to be uh, uh, really excited about uh, a woman killing a baby. It, well, what is his term? It's not right to have the doctor and the patient and the government in the same room. And I said, do you not realize that there's a baby in that room, too? For life and, uh, and I'm not going to apologize for it. And, you know, and I think it should be in the States. But if I had to vote right now, it would be yes. Strange because I say I'm a Christian. Right now, you say you're a Christian. And they said, Herschel, what do you think of? They asked me all these questions. I'm like, did I not say I'm a Christian? <laughs> that means you're supposed to be pro-life. I, I thought I thought you're supposed to be pro-life. And I believe, I believe in from the womb to the tomb. Because this is what's so interesting. You never know who's that baby going to be. Mm. Yeah, that sounds like he is against abortion. Um, and then it turns out that um, there's this accusation or report in uh, the Daily Beast saying that pro-life, and they put it in quotes because... He seemed pretty unequivocal about this in some of those clips. And uh, pro-life Herschel Walker paid for girlfriend's abortion. Now, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's quite a claim. You'd need some. I mean, is this one of those he said, she said uh, type of situations? Yeah. If you can't make an accusation like this. You better have the receipts. Yeah, you better have the receipts. Now, it turns out they literally have the receipts. Scroll down. A woman who asked not to be identified out of privacy concerns told the Daily Beast that after she and Walker conceived a child while they were dating in 2009. Reminder, Herschel Walker has at least, what is it, four, I can't, I can't remember, four children born out of wedlock? Check Wikipedia. Uh, I am not, I don't have any problem with that. Um, it's just really hard to square. With all of his, uh, his moralizing moralizing about these things. But they conceived a child while they were dating in 2009. He urged her to get an abortion. The woman said she had the procedure and that Walker reimbursed her for it. Well, but it's easy to make this accusation. But the piece continues. She supported these claims with a $575 receipt from the abortion clinic 
a get well card from Walker and a bank deposit receipt that included an image of a signed $700 personal check from Walker. The woman said there was a $125 difference because she ballparked the cost of an abortion after Googling the procedure and added on expenses such as travel and recovery costs. The Daily Beast independently corroborated details of the woman's claims with a close friend she told at the time and who, according to the woman and the friend, took care of her in the days after the procedure. The woman said Walker, who was not married at the time, told her it would be more convenient to terminate the pregnancy, saying it was, quote, not the right time for him to have a child. I wonder if that mm. means that, like, there's only, like, a time of the year. Like, I like to have my children fall. in the fall. It was a feeling she shared. But what she didn't know was that Walker had an out-of-wedlock child with another woman earlier that same year. All right, so be, to be fair, maybe it's spring is when he has his children, not fall. Mm -hmm. Asked if Walker ever expressed regret for the decision, the woman said Walker never had. Asked why she came forward, the woman pointed to Walker's hardline anti-abortion position. I just can't with the hypocrisy anymore. She said, we all deserve better. Ooh. Yeah. Now, of course, um, the Walker campaign basically said, um, all you want to do is run with stories to target black conservatives. Um, I wonder. I wonder if that's the case. Uh, Walker went on to Sean Hannity's show last night and denied it. But Hannity sort of seems like he, I don't know, was having to feel like he had to do some due diligence on this. But I don't know. Let's, let's see what Walker says about this. Because, again, this is a he says, she says, and has receipts uh, type of situation. Get well card. Get well card, receipts, and corroborating uh, a witness. But okay. Because right now, for them to come out with total lies, I think well, that's not right. This. So they're claiming that on September 12th of 2009, that the woman has a receipt for an abortion. They're claiming that five days later on September 17th, you sent a $700 check and that you sent it in a get well card. The get well card, it looks like it's included with your signature on in the article. Have you seen it? And is that your signature? Uh, I haven't seen it, uh, but you know I can tell you uh, I send out so many get well, uh, send out so much of anything. But I can tell you right now, I never asked anyone to get an abortion. I never paid for an abortion, and it's a lie. And I'm going to continue to fight. You know, yeah, I tell you that's what they want. They want this seat, but right now they've energized me even more. All right, pause it. Then now, I now let's let's be let's uh, let's just you know parse this. Now it's quite possible that he sent out a lot of get well cards. I guess it's conceivable that this was just a coincidence, although the woman doesn't report having any illness per se. To be fair, he's not paying for an abortion uh, in this instance. The question is, did he reimburse her for the abortion? The abortion was already paid for. He sent the check five days later. You know, the, just the random $700 get well soon check that you send to people who you think might have a cold and they claim they had an abortion. And cl by claim, I mean have literally a receipt for an abortion. I mean, there, I guess there's some wiggle room there. He didn't pay for the abortion and he may not have asked her to have one. He may have just encouraged it or even said, OK, I got no problem with that. Or now is not when I generally have my out of wet babies. I usually do that in the spring. Let's hear what he says. He pays for a lot. Like I send a lot of things out. He sent a lot of cards. <laughs> 
pay for an abortion and it's a lie and I'm going to continue to fight you know yeah, I tell you that's what they want they want this seat but right now they've energized me even more and they're not going to take the seat so they better work it even harder because they've jeopardized my kids they've jeopardized my family they think they can threaten me they think they can scare me right now all that done is it's energized me more that I'm going to fight and win this seat for the great people of Georgia because to have someone in the seat that lies to the people shouldn't be in the seat as a senator what about the $700 check? Is there anybody you can remember sending that much money to? Well, I, I send money to a lot of people, and that's what's so funny. I mean, let's go back to my part. You know, I, I do scholarship for kids. I give money to people all the time because I'm always helping people because I believe in being generous. God has blessed me, and I want to bless others. And I got into this race because I'm a Christian. I love the Lord Jesus Christ, and I always tell everyone that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. So whoever uh, has been out there want to lie on Herschel Walker, you're lying on the wrong one. It's yeah. best that you to go somewhere else because I'm going to win this seat for the great people of Georgia because Georgia deserves to have a senator that trusts in the Georgia people and not no one that trusts in Joe Biden like Senator Warnock does. Let's talk okay. about the New York. I mean, I think we don't need to, any more of that. I mean, um, he made the point that this is uh, jeopardizing my kids and my family because of these lies. We're not sure which kids he's talking about. Like I say, he's, yeah. he's had uh, different ones. But there is one kid who has been in the public eye on a consistent basis, and that is his son, Christian. Is that right? Yep. Uh, let's see. I mean, did Christian weigh in on this? Oh, well, here he is. Uh, let's hear from Christian. I stayed silent as the atrocities committed against my mom were downplayed. I stayed silent when it came out that my father, Herschel Walker, had all these random kids across the country, none of whom he raised. And you know my favorite issue to talk about is father absence. Surprise, because it affected me. That's why I talk about it all the time, because it affected me. Family values, people. He has four kids, four different women, wasn't in the house raising one of them. He was out having sex with other women. Do you care about family values? I was silent lie after lie after lie. The abortion card drops yesterday. It's literally his handwriting in the card. They say they have receipts, whatever. He gets on Twitter. He lies about it. Okay, I'm done. Done. Everything has been a lie. And so for the right to say I'm being suspicious for saying, hey, I'm, I'm done with the lies, when you all have been calling me saying, is this true about your dad? Gosh, we're not going to win Georgia, this candidate all. That's been you. You have no idea what I've been through in my life. You have no idea what me and my mom have survived. We could have ended this on day one. We haven't. I haven't told any stories. I'm just saying don't lie. Don't lie on my mom. Don't lie on me. Don't lie on the lives you've destroyed destroyed and act like you're some moral family man. Y'all should care about that, conservatives. And then for people on the left to act as though I'm responsible for all of the things that he has done. I've talked about Father Epps, I've talked all these issues because they've been close to me, because they matter to me, because I went through it. That's why I've talked about it. So when you say, well, talk about your dad, but I am. I'm saying this behavior is atrocious. Don't come for me. You don't have to like my father. You don't have to like me. You don't have to. I'm just saying I'm done with the lies. We were told at the beginning of this, he was going to get ahead of his past, hold himself accountable, all of these different things, and that would have been fine. Go ahead. He didn't do any of that. Everything's been a lie. Everything's been downplayed. Everything's been cutting corners. The whole thing. And who, who is, whose expense is that at? Me, my mom, as we're chased down by the media, uh, we're, we're terrorized, all these different things. Uh, uh, people are questioning my authenticity. I'm done. Don't lie. Don't put this on me. You, this is a candidate issue, not a me issue. I wouldn't have spoken out if there weren't all these lies every day. Hmm. Um, I, I sort of feel like he is saying that uh, Herschel Walker has been lying about a lot of things. Yeah. It sounds like they had a lot of problems and they all were aware of like all, uh, you know, they, and it sounds like there's a lot more in the closet. But uh, the son, Christian, is you know doesn't want to pull stuff out of the closet to hurt his dad 
but he's sick of his father lying after lying after lying. Um, I got to think that's got to hurt. And I would say in Georgia, it's probably worth 0.05% of the Republicans who support Herschel Walker will probably have a problem with him now. Yeah, and I mean, just on this angle of the Christian Walker, for folks who aren't familiar with the uh, Christian, like, I think this is a genuinely sad and depressing uh like situation we're looking at with a father and a son. Without I said this doubt. the first time we talked about Christian when he was basically going viral for blaming Joe Biden for high gas prices. And he went on to basically be a campaign asset for the Republicans and his dad, um, trying to, I think, make his dad happy, like doing all this stuff, saying like there's not anti-gayness in the GOP, it's on the Democrats, and basically w working for his dad. And then even now, I think it's like he, when he says that refrain, I was silent, that's again like who's going to give you credit for that except your dad that you somehow like want to still want approval from and it's like and it's sad because it, it, it like he says he's been talking about absentee fatherism and that hurt him but he hasn't been drawing the connection to his actual father because yes. of the campaign without a doubt and it's depressing how he was used by that and i said that the first time like the, giving this kid attention like this isn't going to be good for him no, I totally agree. And you can see in that video, too, he seems to be both like addressing his dad simultaneously and then like Republican operatives at the same time. Right. Yeah. Like, I mean, almost in the, in the same sentences. And I think that's exactly right. He is saying, you know, when I tell all the issues I talk about are a function of the dysfunction of my relationship with my father, even though he hasn't drawn that straight line there. And I don't know. I, I mean, I um, let's put up uh, some of these uh, uh, tweets. Do we have the tweets? I can appreciate. I, the, go back to the, the first one I say, because that's the, the long of a stretch. Uh, yeah, this is it here. Um, so. And again, uh, I will say that. I'm a father. I have uh, two children. They were born in wedlock, but I have friends who, you know, I don't even, that, that, that's irrelevant. I think we're beyond that, right? I mean, this is not uh, Game of Thrones. We don't refer, um, refer to my kid as, you know, Saul Snow or uh, Myla Snow or something like that. Um, <clears throat> And here's Christian Walker as he's he's and there's some that he deleted too of these tweets, but then he ultimately made the video and he was just he had it. And yeah, I imagine it was a tremendous amount of pressure. He writes, I know my mom and I would really appreciate if my father, Herschel Walker, stopped lying and making a mockery of us. You're not a family man when you left us to bang a bunch of women, threatened to kill us, and had us move over six times in six months running from your violence. Now this is this is a whole nother um this is a whole nother um uh you know set of issues. I don't care about someone who has a bad past and takes accountability. And this is important too because in the video that he says at the beginning of the campaign they sat down it sounds like with Christian and his mom and said, "Look." And it sounds like even maybe Herschel Walker himself said, "I know I've done some things that are wrong and I'm going to take accountability for that." I'm going to stand up and be a man about it, tell the voters uh, so that there's no drip, drip, drip coming out. Christian Walker continues, but how dare you lie and act as though you're some moral Christian upright man. You've lived a life of destroying other people's lives. How dare you? He goes on to say every family member of Herschel Walker asked him not to run for office because we knew we all knew prince some of his past every single one he decided to give us the middle finger and air all out all of his dirty laundry in public while simultaneously lying about it i'm done i, I can you know i'm not a fan of christian walker's politics um oh, no they're pretty offensive <laughs> yes uh or him personally but you can appreciate like you know the 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 you can certainly understand the idea of wanting to please your father. Yeah. And um, 
but also that like uh, you know at one point you realize like wait a second this is just a this is the this is probably the same dynamic that walker has been in his whole life his father's abusive walker tries to get him to do something so that he won't be abusive and then essentially the same thing replays over and over again uh walker makes the point you're trying to run for office and who's absorbing uh who's absorbing all of this sort of like uh, difficulty and you're trying to run for office he and his mom and then herschel walker uh writes i love my son no matter what capital i love my son no matter what not enough to listen to him about you know lying or not running in the first place right exactly all right so let me make this clear now uh i'm going to get ahead of this and discuss that uh some of you are probably aware of some of the stuff that's going on or out there in the uh internet about me um put this tweet back up on um herschel walker said last night i love my son no matter what presumably he's talking about christian walker he, does he have other sons or are they daughters i think he has another son doesn't he or i'm not sure but uh walker christian walker writes back you have four kids that we know of and you weren't in the house raising one of them you were out cheating and lying if you loved your kids you'd be raising them instead of running for a senate seat to boost your ego that's pretty harsh let me just say notwithstanding everything i said about being sympathetic to christian walker before kids sometimes they get a little bit petty <laughs> Now, in Christian Walker's uh, instance, he's upset because he, you know, found out that he had probably half-brothers or half-siblings that he wasn't aware of, that he's had to cover up for the fact that his father was abusive uh, and th life-threatening to him and his mother, and then found out about this abortion stuff, and Christian Walker's been out there probably putting himself out for, the, for um, Herschel Walker's candidacy and feels like he was, you know, uh, hoodwinked. But Herschel Walker still says, I love my son no matter what. And I want to make something clear. I also love my son no matter what. And I also love my daughter no matter what. I'm not saying they're going through some problems and they're out there telling lies about me. 